Hey guys, it's an big guy YouTube here, and today we're going to be doing a different type of video. We're going to be comparing all the magnums in the history of how they change over time. So it's basically an evolution. Um, and we're going to start off with the Halo Reach Magnum. So let's get right into this. Halo Reach Magnum, the manufacturer for all these magnums, just saying it right now, because it's going to get too repetitive if I keep saying the manufacturer, is the Maserati Armory. This model was an M6G. The length was um 26.7 centimeters or 10.5 inches. And for the barrel, it was 11.7 centimeters or 4.6 inches. The weight, empty, was 2.7 kilograms. Loaded was 2.95 kilograms. Damage, it was 15 in Halo 3 and 17.5 in Halo Reach. If you're wondering why it says Halo 3 and Halo Reach, because in the games, they're basically the exact same pistol. They just have different firing speeds and less damage or more damage. Uh, this one has eight rounds in Halo Reach. Single wheel, single wielded, uh, forty rounds or five magazines for a reach. It was semi-automatic. That means you couldn't hold the trigger and keep shooting. The rate of fire was two hundred and thirty rounds per minute in Halo Reach and about one hundred and twenty rounds per minute in Halo Three. It had armor-piercing high-explosive rounds. It's almost for every magnum, I believe, except for maybe four and five. The accuracy was medium to high, and it was close to medium range. 50 meters or 152.5 feet. So that's the Halo Reach Magnum. Halo 1, Halo CE, Halo Combat Evolved Magnum, whatever you want to call it. Same manufacturer. This model was the M6D, and it was a personal defense uh, weapon system. It was handheld. The length was 22.5 centimeters or 9 inches, and the height was 17.5 centimeters or 7 inches. It was high against shielded enemies, very high against flesh, and overall damage was pretty high. This one, unlike... The Reach and 3 had 12 rounds, 132 maximum ammunition. Motor fully automatic, meaning you can hold down the trigger and just keep firing. Um, ammunition type, same as the Reach. Rate of fire was about 210 rounds a minute or 3.5 a second. Accuracy was very high in the range, was short and medium range. It was used in the uh, Resurrection, Human and Covenant War, and the Post War Era. Halo 2. Wow, this magnet isn't really good. I think it should get more love considering how fun the weapon is. They manufactured the model M6C pistol, handheld single handed. The length was 26.8 centimeters. Damage was medium to pretty low. It had 12, ma 12 rounds, so it had that going for it. And 60 rounds or 5 magazines single wielded, or 120 rounds and 10 magazines dual wielded. Fire mode semi automatic, you can hold it down. Same type of ammunition. Uh, it had about 360 rounds a minute, or 6 rounds a second. Accuracy was medium, and uh, maximum effective range was 19 and 23 meters. And maximum range was 50 to 100 meters. Usage, human coming to war. Halo 3. Now, we're not going to go over this one too much. All I'm going to say is the model M6G had a different lay lengths and widths. Uh, because it's basically the Halo Reach Magnum. But it's only a little weaker, and it's just a little slower. And you can dual wield it for 80 rounds or 10 magazines. That's basically the only difference, apart from the look. So, Halo 4 Magnum. Halo 4 Magnum was made by the same designer, you know, Masaraya Armory. Eight rounds. It's a semi-automatic recoil-operated magazine for Magnum. And it was used in the post, uh, the year 2,500, 25,055. And it takes more than a, uh, as a user to become faster in the weapon, does less damage than the other semi-automatic weapons like the Lightweapon the more. However, it can either be a big pistol or a small rifle. Halo 5. Now we're going to be going over all the variants of this weapon. The M6H2 Normal Halo 5 uh, Magnum entered service by at least the year 2557 and was issued to all branches of the UNSC. Uh, it sported a, a black motor finish, like the base M6H, the M6H2 is semi-automatic, recoil operated, and magazine fed, but an increased 12 round magazine capa uh, capacity. The variant also boasts increased accuracy and is the most effective with precision aiming. Let's go to the variants of the M6H2 Magnum, or Halo 5 Magnum. Whisper Truth, a kept down M6H2 Magnum with a smart scope system, however it has an underbar flashlight or forward trigger guard. It also comes with a custom slide that can mount a suppressor. This variant supports an 18-round magazine, unlike other pistols, and the Whisper Truth fires in a 3-round burst. This is the Whisper Truth. Gunfighter Magnum. Unlike the Magnum, it's lightweight, 
competition pistol carried by Spartan operators who prefer a no frills backup firearm. Quick draw magnum with fast reload magazine. Iron sights only. No smart link modules attached. It's this one. I would also like to point out, while weaker than a normal magnum, it has a faster fire rate. Tactical magnum. The whisper quiet tactical pistol loaded with armor piercing rounds. Tolerated for Spartan 4 Rignance's missions. Magic grade magnum with integral battle baffle free suppressor and two times full VISR smart link. This one. Bucks magnum. Why not being a magnum you could use? It is a custom magnum and it's in the game. So we're gonna go over it. It's pretty short, anyways. A magnum with a gunfighter body, so his body, whisper truth coloring, so that, and an unspecific sight. Mm, that's it. So there is one attachment it has, and we're gonna go over that. Increases both ready and reserve ammunition capacity by 50%. So, anyways, guys, that was the video. Um, that were all the evolution to the Halo Magnum. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, hit subscribe, comment down below what's your favorite Magnum. Mine's a Halo CE Magnum by far, and Halo 5 at, low, at least. Because it's way e better to use and way easier to use. Anyways, uh, um, see you in the next video, and peace.